Hi guys, so if you want to see how I got this Janelle Mosca oh, let me go. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 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 Hi guys. Oh, uh, Hi guys, so this is pretty much another hair tutorial. Um, it, it is an updo, it is Janelle Monet inspired. Um, you can pretty much wear it for any kind of event, for church, for work, for going out to meet friends. Um, so if you wanna see how I got this hairstyle here, keep on watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on a O twist out, but feel free to do this hairstyle with any kind of stretched hair. I'm also gonna go in and use the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. It helps keep my hair shiny as well as give it moisture and it also helps keep the flyaways at bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and distribute this all throughout my hair. I'm going to go ahead and make a part to the side of my hair. I do have a natural part from when I did my twist out, um, but feel free to make just a regular side part. And I'm going to go ahead and make another side part on the opposite side of my hair. I am following again the natural line or natural part that I have from my twist out. And I had a natural part in the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone, but feel free to make this more sleek if you like. So for any hair style that I do, I have to make sure that my edges are always laid down. I feel like that makes up for a more sleek look. So go ahead and use the edge control of your choice or gel. I am using Cream of Nature today. Now I'm going to go ahead and start to twist the side, but feel free to do a flat twist or even a braid. I chose to do a twisty on the side just because it was 10 times quicker. Once you get to the ends of your hair, go ahead and continue to twist it all the way down as tight as you can. And once you get towards the end of twisting your ends, go ahead and wrap the twist around like you would do a bantu knot and go ahead and clip it away. We'll get back to it later. So we're going to do the same thing to this side that we did the other side. Go ahead and add the edge control or gel of your choice. And just like the other side, go ahead and twist the sides. Um, this is actually a really good updo for those that don't know how to braid or even flat twist just quite yet. You can go ahead and do this simple twist to the back of your hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the ends of this twist and go ahead and wrap it under that bantu knot that we created and start to pin it. Now go back to the twist that we did previously and take the ends and go ahead and pin it above the one that we just got finished pinning down. So the back should look something like this. Um, if you want a more sleeker look, feel free to take your time when placing the bobby pins. However, for me, this is just a quick updo, so you will see a couple of the bobby pins showing. So now you want to gather the front part of your hair and you want to go ahead and twist the right side of your hair towards the left side of your hair. Thank you. 
And now you wanna go ahead and take the left side of your hair and twist it towards the right side of your hair. As you can see, I do have a little bit of product buildup from when I did do my twist out, but just go ahead and act like you guys don't even see that. At this point, you can go ahead and start to gather the rest of the front part of your hair in an upward motion. And once you have it all in your hands, at that point, you can go ahead and start to bobby pin it. Use as many bobby pins as you need. I definitely use a lot. If you don't want the bobby pins to show, feel free to take your time. But just like I said before, I don't mind. And there you guys have it, a very easy, quick, and sleek updo. This is very Janelle Monae slash I Love Lucy-ish. As always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you guys check out my other videos. The links will be in the description box. Until next time, deuces.